are our tiny modules designed to make your project smaller and way easier to build. They come with multiple tutorials, inspiring project ideas and can work wirelessly out of the box so that you can jump straight into testing. In this video we're going through each one and show you how you can use them in your own projects. Let's start with CodeCell. If you're building a tiny robot this can basically be its brain. It's a tiny controller that comes with either light or motion sensing along with built-in wireless control and battery charging. That makes it perfect for building wearables, mini robots and other IoT gadgets. You can optionally get it with a LiPo battery or solder tether so that you can plug it into your project right away. And with our easy to use Arduino library you can make your projects more interactive with just a few lines of code. It has everything we need to control our other modules and it also connects to your phone right out of the box with the Microlink app. On startup the default software will automatically detect if you have connected a drive cell or a motor cell and configures the sliders accordingly. The motor cell is the most compact PCB motor we have developed. It is small, thin and also has an onboard driver that can both drive and read the speed of the motor. You can either pull the speed pin high for full RPM or control it via PWM to adjust the speed. Its speed can be controlled in 1000 RPM increments which is automatically handled by its three-phase back EMF sensorless chip. To help you get started we made it work out of the box with CodeCell's Microlink app and we also made an Arduino library that features a PID controller to regulate better its speed. The motor was designed for high speed low torque applications so with it you can build things like tiny blowers, robots, kinetic signs, generate vibrations and build other cool gadgets. Its stator design is open source so you can also get the rotor parts and easily assemble it onto your own custom PCB. Coil cell also features planar PCB coils. We sell two variants of it. One is a 1 watt 4 layer PCB and the other is a 2.5 watt 14 layer PCB which obviously is a bit thicker. This produces a stronger magnetic field but both of these include an 8 bridge driver. Pulling one of the inputs high will power on the coil and reversing it will make it flip the coil's polarity. You can also vary the coil's magnetic field with PWM. To do this you can either use the Arduino library, develop your own PWM with your own microcontroller or use a code cell which generates the PWM and links to the app. The coil cell can come with either an M52 ball magnet, a 5mm disc magnet or an electromagnetic iron backplate which almost doubles its magnetic field strength. This upgrade turns your coil cell into a weak electromagnet. Just be a little bit careful when using this because it does get a little bit hot. On the other hand coil pad is the thinnest actuator we sell. It's just 0.1 mm thin, flexible and sticks to any smooth surface. Just add a magnet and watch it swing. You can also hack it into a thin buzzer, a microheater or even a wireless transformer. It can come into a pack of 1 or a pack of 10 and includes a thin 10 mm diameter disc magnet. Unlike the coil cell this does not come with an onboard driver but you can either power it directly, add a transistor to one of the pads or even an H bridge to reverse its polarity. An H bridge is a circuit made from four transistors. This gives you precise control over a motor's direction and speed via the input pins. We call this module a drive cell because in a less than one centimeter width it includes a tiny H bridge chip that can power DC motors, buzzers and actuators. It features easy to solder castellated pads and is also pin to pin compatible with code cell. We have multiple examples and tutorials to get you started with drive cell and also an open source library. This driver is also pin to pin compatible with flat flap which as the name suggests is a super thin flap. This basically has a stickery backside and a built in magnet which repairs the PCP coil to make it flap. The flap itself is just 0.3 mm thin and has a reflective aluminium stiffener adding eye-catching motion to your projects. A color changing sticker is also included in the box which can make your projects look even more artistic. This actuator can only lift lightweight objects but its organic movement makes it more ideal for puppetry and kinetic signs. Bundling this up with drive cell and code cell makes it super easy to control allowing you to use the onboard sensors to make it even more interactive. And that's all the modules we've got for now. If you're not sure where to start we've put together three discovery packs which bundle up our modules to get you started in minutes trying out PCB actuators, sensors and wireless control all in one box. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more updates.